How's it going, everybody, and welcome back to another day here in Animal Crossing New Leaf. So, I'm still dressed as a bunny. That's something. Uh, you know what? We're, we're just gonna roll with it two days in a row. Why not? Uh, so, I've gone ahead and done a little bit of stuff around town. If I open up, if I open up my inventory, blah, if I can speak, if I can words... Uh, you can see that I have a couple of mushrooms, uh, a couple of fossils, and an extra balloon item because I just can't quit the balloon popping. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go to retail and turn these in, and uh, then we will get on with the rest of the episode. Although, by the way, I, I don't know why I'm trying to... S well, actually, I am stalling because it's a long way from the plaza. Uh... Katrina was in town, so I already got my fortune read. And, yeah, uh, oh, also an update on the flower garden. I've, I'm, I'm gonna try to match up flowers, um, I'm gonna go with a pattern on this side here. Uh, I'll probably replicate these, uh, this design with the, uh, white and the yellow here, uh, on this side. I don't know, it's, it's a big work in progress for that. Uh, although, something that was really funny, if I remember to grab the picture off my, uh, 3DS, uh, in here, uh, in the flower bed here with the fence, was actually one of my fossils today, which is pretty funny, so. Uh, I don't know what the odds are of that, but it was actually perfectly placed right in the middle, on the top row. That was actually really funny. Anyway, into retail we go to sell what's in my inventory right now. And here we are, and so is Melba, apparently. Maybe Melba will buy one of my balloon items, but for now, let us go ahead and sell at, uh, sell at Reese. Sell at retail, talking to Reese, it doesn't really matter. Let us do this, and I think Melba's gonna want to buy my balloon dresser. 24,000 bells, I will take it. I will definitely take it. Melba, what are you up to right now? Wow, it's much cheaper than I was expecting. Are you sure you want to sell it at this price? It's clearly, uh, it's certainly tempting to buy it. Buy it? Why not? Give me bells! I can't pass up an opportunity like this. Excuse me, I'd like to buy this. Okay. Oh, actually, since you're here, I can just pay you directly. And that's a good 600 bells right in my pocket. Melba, thank you, and I will be taking my leave. Before we do anything else, though, it's time to stop off at the Super TNT in order to get my two fortune cookies for the day. Hopefully I get some good fortunes. I would hate to do... I would hate to spend four play coins just to get nothing, and I've already been here before, I've been purchasing items, as you know, for the eventual upgrade to Super TNT Mart, just to get all that out of the way right now. Yes, yes, I know about the special prizes, I just want to grab the fortune cookies, that way I can unearth the lucky tickets, and hopefully get some fortune, so here we go, let us eat the cookie, what do we got inside? Of course, it's gonna be a fortune. Sometimes treasure is not hidden, it is only invisible. Hmm. I don't know if that's actually a fortune or not. And what is going to be number two? Fortune inside, of course. In both life and love, there is always another castle. Oh, I think I know what that one is. All right. Let us hand it- no, I- no, I don't want to sell anything- actually, what if I sell you this balloon wall I just got? Balloon wall 360- I think, uh, when you sell items at the TNT store, um, oh, time special for- yeah, I, I don't know, items are like half off or something, um, I don't know- I think, I think if you sell items at the TNT Mart, Instead of retail, uh, it's less money going to you. I could be wrong about that, but let's see. Congratulations, number five is Hero's Pants. 
Okay, cool. Hey, that can go well with my uh, Breath of the Wild outfit, the new hero gear, I should say. Because I mean, they don't use the th they don't use the term Breath of the Wild or anything related to Link, except for the. Actually, no, not even at all. Because the when you skin in uh, Legend Legend of Zelda amiibo, uh, they say Hyrule Wall and Zelda for the items. Anyway, our no other fortune is a Toad Hat. Of course, it is. Oh, yes. Give me the Toad Hat. I've always wanted to cosplay a Toad. Maybe I'll do that sometime next week. It's once again time to visit the campground, and yet another Splatoon figure person is going to be joining us. Harvey, you are shaking some maracas. Hello there, Harv. Hey, Harv. How you doing? Harv? Oh, you mean me. I repeat the same dialogue pretty much every day. My soggy old noodle ain't what it used to. Yeah, thanks, Harv. Anyway, ooh, is that, uh, modern hospital bed? That's, uh, I was gonna say gurney, but that definitely wasn't right. But it's, uh, look at Harvey shaking the maraud, because it's so adorable. Anyway, special NPC, have we seen this one before? If we have, jump cut coming right up. The other RV belonged to Blanca, but that doesn't matter right now because we are in the presence of the representative of the best squid sister. This is Viche, but before we introduce ourselves... What, what is it with both of the representatives not showing their reactions to the honking of the horn? Anyway, Viche and her sister love traveling to different conventions to show off their latest cosplay, now featuring Marie of the Squid Sisters. Ah, uh, the best Squid Sister representation. Hello, Viche. Hello there, I'm just getting settled in here, but it's already feeling like a second home, Splattastic. Yes, yes indeed. And like I said yesterday when we were greeted by uh, CC, they pretty much have the same furniture. The only difference really is the Inkopolis chair is different because it's green because of Marie. And um, the outfit, the Marie dress, Marie shirt, shoes, tights. Wig, which I'm going to grab because I will end up matching later Gator to you in a sense because he constantly wears a Cali wig on his character. And the Splatfest sign. Uh, hmm. Should I get the shirt as well? You know what? We'll cosplay as Marie. Let's do it. And, oh, I can only buy three things though. Oh, that's alright. The tights, it doesn't really matter. We can... As long as we have the shirt, wig, and boots, shoes, I think we're okay. Uh, so yeah, that is it for Viche. And there's only one more Splatoon-themed villager we have yet to meet. But that will have to wait until next week. Speaking of next week, unfortunately you're gonna have to wait until next week to see the island once again. I'm just kidding, we're going there right now. So let us head to the dock. Uh, something I guess I shouldn't- Oh, I have fruit here. Oh, shoot. Actually, is my inventory still full? Yes, it is. Okay, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna sell some stuff at retail. But first, I need to drop off something at home. And through the power of editing, we are right back here at the house and ready to set sail. To the island. Hello, Cap'n. It has been a while since I saw you. Yes, indeed. I will be heading to the island. Now, something I do need to mention. I have visited the island off-screen before, because, you know, grinding bells with collecting bugs and sharks. Uh, and also taking part in a couple of tours. I grinded up to 50 medals, because medals are used to buy stuff at the island shop in the little hut. And one of the items is a membership sign-up paper thing for Club Tortimer, which is a very special type of thing where you can uh, partake in online stuff with other Club Tortimer members, and you can do group tours there. However, I don't think I'll be showing off 
club tournament because you can't really go there with friends. It's just random. Uh, it'd be a lot easier if you could do it with friends, but yeah, it's pretty much with random people, and people play at all certain times of the day, so I don't know how well coordinated I can make that. For now, I'll just stick to going to the island all by myself. Okay, I've been wanting to complete my silver tool collection for a while now, and only available at the island shop is the silver axe. And there wasn't an axe on sale today at Leaf's Garden Store, so island shop please be my friend? No. Because of course not, I can never have nice things. I don't believe the coconuts have grown yet on the island, because I would totally take those back with me. Uh, let's see, yeah, they haven't grown. Uh, and I will be coming back here probably in a couple hours when... Because nighttime is like the perfect prime thing for collecting stuff on the island. I'll be back to this part of the island uh, probably in a couple hours to grind bugs and stuff for bells, because I am in desperate need of those. Anyway... For now, we are going to be going on a tour. It's been a while since I showed off a tour. Hopefully, we don't have any repeats. I do have the second tier of tours available now, which is the official tour, which is a two-star difficulty. So let's see what we got. Dragonfly fishing, dragonfly discovery, balloon hunting. If I wanted to crave my balloon thing, I could uh, do that official balloon hunt. Hammer Tour! Oh yes, we are definitely doing this. Easy Hammer Tour. Looking for an excuse to run around and bop things with a toy hammer? This tour is for beginners like you. Three minutes is a bit unfortunate, and there's also Level Up Hammer. You know what, we will we'll show off both of these, hopefully. Unless I do really bad at the Easy Hammer Tour, then I might just go home after suffering embarrassment. Anyway, let us sit on the... Comfortable island chairs here and wait for our boat to depart for the easy hammer tour. I love the captain and villager character in the uh, little transition screen. It's so cool. Hey there, whippersnapper. Thanks for joining us on the easy hammer tour. The rules are simple. You have three minutes to smack this machine around as much as possible. If you can hit it at least 30 times within the time limit, I'll give you some medals. Use that toy hammer you're holding to smack the machine. It's a great stress reliever here, <laughs> Horf. Alright, let's get started. Get ready. Get set. Go! Ah, yes. A button to hit with the hammer, and the hitbox can be... Uh... Fun, I guess? I don't... I know this character isn't based on Rossetti, even though it really does look like him. Uh, I also should be keeping count of how many hits I've got. Oh, yes, please trap yourself. Oh, please, yes. No, 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 no. E e trap, yes. No, no, no. I swung too early. Okay. I think I'm in the tens now for my hits. And you do have a good amount of time. Uh, so definitely, if you do get the hammer tour, definitely take it. Also, it's good when you can trap them, like, against a wall. It's really, really good. Uh, the machine will eventually start, like, breaking down. No, 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 come on. Yeah, the hitbox is a little weird because you have to draw the hammer back. So, like, the reach of it's weird and stuff like that. There we go. Okay, if you can get in front of it, too, that's really good. Okay. Come on, yes. Pull yourself over there, please. Come on. Come on. No, a little too early. Come on. There we go. Yes, corner yourself. Corner yourself. Come on, come on. I think we're in the 20s now, but that won't help if we don't hit it. Come on. No, 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 no. It's get- is it getting faster? I'm not exactly sure, actually. Yes, come on. No, no, no. I need you to trap yourself up top. That's the way to win. Trapping it up top. Come on. No, no, no. Come on. Swing. Yes. It's going up top. 
trap yourself, please. Come on. Got a minute left. Let's go, let's go. I'm really bad at this, so I might not actually do the official one. I may just give up there. Oh, I had the perfect opportunity to get two right there. Yeah, I think this is getting a little faster. Looks like it, at least. Come on. If you can get ahead of it, that would really help. Ooh, I probably shouldn't have hit that one, but I'll take it. 30 seconds, come on. Come on, trap yourself up, come on. Come on. No, 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 no. Why are you going near Tortimer? You shouldn't do that. Oh, there's another thing you can trap him in. All right, we got 10 seconds. Come on. Yeah, oh no, no, my circle pad fell off. Are you kidding me? Circle pad, now was not the time to fall. Oh my God. If we lost by, if we lost because of that, because I could have gotten at least one more hit in. Please tell me we got it. 52 times? Oh, okay, never mind. We we did it. A se I guess if we got 60, we would have gotten gold. But four, four medals isn't bad. Better than nothing. Definitely better than nothing. I hope you enjoyed the Easy Hammer Tour. Tell your friends. Indeed, we will tell our friends, if I had any. Anyway, I think that's it for the island. I would do the official hammer tour, but I didn't really have confidence in the easy one. And if I show zero confidence, I would probably definitely lose. Now, it sucks that I'm going home empty-handed, technically, and that's kind of a waste of a thousand bells, but not necessarily, because if you catch one bug, even the simplest of bugs, you can easily make up the 1,000 bells easy, which I probably should have done, but I had a little bit to spend regardless, so we're actually going to skip the uh, <laughs> boat ride. Sorry, yeah, I am kind of feeling homesick, Cap'n. But with that, that is going to do it for today here on Animal Crossing New Leaf. On Monday, we will be doing more maintenance around the town. Our newly planted trees, which by the way, I actually forgot to mention uh, while I was away for like, I was like maybe 10, 15 minutes away in between certain parts of the episode, just planting trees around town, including, which I can show since this is right here, expanding our uh, orchard. So this first row up here is actually all of my peaches. We got uh, two normal peaches on the end and then six perfect peaches in a row here. And then from apple to, wait, did I say peaches? Uh, no. Pear, perfect pear, all the way down to here. And this last one is another peach. And then it's apple to peach all down here. And I don't, I think I planted a peach right here. I'm eventually going to chop this down because that's where the final fruit is going to go, up here. And I'll tell you what that final fruit is when it grows in the northern orchard, which should be in another day or two, so they should be grown by Monday. Anyways, let's head back inside our home. And let's give sleeping in the balloon room a second shot. Thank you for watching, and until Monday, catch you later.